everyone, it's Irene, and I'm here to do a tutorial on my altered book, Junk Journals. I've had a, a request to show how I insert my pages, so I am willing to share you my technique of how I do these books. Now, this technique has been around, uh, I mean, the altered book idea has been around forever before YouTube, before Pinterest. Um, I'm going to age myself here, but I uh, used to watch Carol Duvall on HGTV and Arlene's crafting and her and her daughters would be on TV doing crafting and they did it way back then. I remember as a young teenager, uh, my dad used to bring home National Geographics and um, I used to tear those apart and make them into what they now call glue books. But I used to love fussy cutting and that's how I kept myself busy. Um, also, if you remember, the TV guides used to be the little booklets. I wish I had some of those still in my fingertips, but I think if I go to my memory boxes of way back in the when, I can pull out some of those books that I used to do, because I used to be crazy for the magazine called Teen Beat. And if you guys remember that magazine, uh, Sean Cassidy was uh, one of the hot uh, and exciting people to watch and follow and he was one of my favorites and I remember uh, cutting him out and post collecting posters and doing books on him so anyway like I said this altering a book uh, has been around for a very long time uh, my take on it is um, that I sew my pages and people want to know how I do that but before I show you that technique I thought I'd show you first of how I choose my books because there is a difference of the books you get um, some of my books come from Dollar Tree and a lot of them come from the library and I'm very choosy of what I get because it makes a difference in the end product and let me show you what I mean this is a book I bought at the Dollar Tree and as you can see it's the same um, title same title, same book. This is how it comes right out of the store, and this is what it looks like when it's done. Now, the reason why I chose this book is because the way it is bounded. And if you can see on the camera, each page looks like it's been glued down, probably on a piece of fabric or some way that the manufacturer makes this particular book. The difference is, see this book here I got from um, my local library and see if you can tell very carefully the binding on here are, are a series of signatures put together and then bound as one where on this one it's each page put in as one so this book here is going to be a little harder to tear apart than this one just to, just to let you know uh, this one's going to require a little bit more care when you tear them out. This one, not so much. And this is the one I'm going to show you because it, um, this is what the end product is after I'm done. So let me just show you again. This is how it starts when I buy it. This is what it looks like when I'm done with it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And people ask what I do and how I do it. Um, now, the glue I use is a wet glue. You can use any kind of glue. All leans. Um, I have this one right here. It's whatever is handy. Um, the, I want to tell you that um, the books I used to make as a teenager, we used to use, um, you know, the double stick tape. This one right here. This one's been around for a long time. I still have boxes and boxes of this tape. Do not use this tape or a double stick tape or ATG if you want your books to last for a long time. The ones I used to make with this tape have now fallen apart in the sense that the glue is no longer taking and the pages are fragile and things do come out. So if you want these books to last a long time, do not use ATG or double stick tape. Use a wet glue of your choice and my choice is Elmer's glue or you can use Allene's glue. Um, that works the best for me. And then I want to show you how I tear out this book. The process is I open it up. The first cover I save. The second page I save. And the third one I save. And this is the fourth page into the book. Now this book has about 300 pages or more. Let's see, it's 325 or more. So 325, a little bit more. That's the type of 
thickness book I usually get. Any thicker, the alligator mouth is huge. Uh, and so what I do is um, a 325 page book or more, I usually take out eight pages. So I don't use a ruler, I don't use an X-Acto knife, I just take it and from the top, I just tear, tear, and I'll show you why. I'll do this really quickly. This is four, this is five, six, seven, eight. See how easy that was? Now, you see all that leftover stuff in there from the pages I tore out? I leave that all in, except on the edges, I take a little off to take out the bulkness. Okay, I don't use a knife, I'm doing it. I just pinch it off, and it's all clean there, if that makes any sense. Leave that in, because you don't want to destroy the integrity of how the book was originally made. And I'll show you how to keep that clean. Now remember, before we started to tear, I saved that page. Well, now this page goes to here, and so then, to cover this up, I turn this page over. This one I save because now I'm gonna tear here. So then I go eight pages out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I turn over, turn over, start tearing. Eight out, turn over, turn over, start tearing. The two that I turn over, clean up the fact that I tore things out. The first one cleans it up this way. This one starts the cleanup of the next section. So when you make a pocket or these are the pages that will be left in my book and that's what makes this right here. You see, first page, second page I left and here's the two pages that I glued together, nice and neat. You don't see the tearing because I put that's inside here, and that's how this book was made. Now people ask about the warping here, and it's because I use my gl uh, glue, and I weighted this down, and overnight it dries. I tear these at nighttime when I'm watching my mom. And for those who don't know, my mom has Alzheimer's dementia, and she's at the phase now where she does not sleep at night. And so I choose things to do, um, you know, that I can sit next to her and watch her so the rest of the house can get the rest. And I have quite a few of these already torn out, ready to go, and to be made into junk journals. And I just want to show you um, the next technique that people are asking about. Now this is a book that's been all glued up, ready to go, and the pages have been sewn, and people want to know how that's done. The secret is, is the decorative paper has been cut out to fit each page. I sew the decorative page, and then I glue that sewn page onto the existing pages that were left in the book. So that's the secret, that's my technique of how I've been attaching these sewn pages onto these altered books. And you can make all kinds of decorative sewing if you have a really pretty sewing machine that has several types of sewing stitches. Now, let me just show you here. Let me lift the camera gently and show you that a book, because I use these books to prop up my camera here just to make it taller to show you the tutorial. But this is a book I have finished last night this is a decorative stitch I have used here. Really pretty. And the same way I just showed you of how I tore out um, these pages and made it into this book here. Now I'm gonna go to my decorative paper. I'm going to measure out what size I would like. I take the stack of decorative paper, I sew all my pages together, and go back and put in the pages. It is a uh, labor of love. It, it, it's, you know, you know, spend some time on it because the end product is quite pretty and um, really fun to make. So if you don't mind spending a little time on your project and doing it just right, you can make them really pretty, really fun. This one's ready to be decorated. I'll be working on this tonight. This is a special order for a friend who graduated and uh, she wanted something for her daughter and had asked me to put this together in this color scheme. 
the teals, the greens, and the blues. Isn't that pretty? So I'll be showing this soon, all finished, ready to go. But see the binding? Very nicely done, no warping. I mean, you're gonna get some waving, but it's not crooked, it's all straight. Very pretty, ready to get decorated. So much fun to make. So when you go out and pick out your books, watch for your binding. You don't want the kind where the signatures are clumped together. You wanna look for the um, binding where the pages look like they're all in there one by one. All right, so I hope this was helpful of how I put these together. Love to see what you guys can come up with and the sewing techniques you are um, going to try out into your books. Um, and for those who are wondering, white glue is the best. Don't use ATG or double stick tape. All right, hopefully that helps everyone who's been asking. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Uh, thanks so much for stopping by, you guys, and I'll be back with more videos. Take good care. Bye-bye.